Hi Cancer, so I'm here to do the love readings for July. If you do like the message, please like, press subscribe, hit the bell to be notified of when um, I come on again and upload uh, further content. Um, always check your sun, moon, rising and your Venus. I will put that in the love readings, I forgot to say it in passes. And um, if I am available for one-on-one -on -one readings as well, which my website and everything like that, my social media links where I go live uh, and things like that for free. That's all in the description box below. So I'm going to jump straight in. So I'll be using the Romance Oracle deck for the Celtic and I'll be using the Gilded Tarot for um, the storyline. So, Cancer, love yourself first. So you're on a mission of self-love. Your self-respect makes you more, more romantically attractive. So it's almost like you are manifesting love without even realising it because you are concentrating on yourself or there's a need to do that. Once you concentrate on yourself and you're giving yourself the love that you want from someone else, that's when you will start to radiate that type of energy. That's when you will start to um, magnify that type of energy and bring it in. So there's a need for self-love. Challenge or blockage, codependency. So there could be addictions. There could have been addictions in past relationships. Could be codependency issues whether it's someone else or whether you get quite enrolled in relationships and end up codependent and that could be why there's a need for you to love yourself you know and not need somebody because there's, there's like a need energy here uh, it could be you could be someone else addictions are often uh, affecting your romantic life so it could be addicted to a past person you know addicted to what's going on with them and could be trauma bonds why is this coming right now for cancer it's better. go ahead and make the romantic gesture i kind of feel like you need to make the romantic gesture towards yourself like self-love go ahead and do something go ahead and buy yourself something that you wouldn't usually do definitely codependency issues here so yeah recent past very soon clearly decide what you want so that it can come to you now do you want love? Do you want real love? Authentic love? True love? Because you're bringing in codependent relationships, or well, you were doing, because at the present we've got soulmate. So there's soulmate energy going on. Uh, Patsy's just got soulmate energy. Well, they didn't get the soulmate card, but they definitely got a soulmate energy. Yeah, see, so near future, you've got to be careful that you are not bringing in a codependent person as well or you know like a karmic soulmate type energy because we do have the soulmate energy here and i feel like you're gonna have a choice because we've got heart to heart conversations honestly discuss your feelings with each other but we've also got to pay attention to the red flags the signs are cautioning you so there's someone's energy that you need to be very cautionate about and it could be someone who's got addictions or you know so your power is it is the wedding card this situation involves marriage so some of you could have been married or you could have been with this person and lived together as a married couple um i feel like that's what you're breaking away from because there's attempt there's red flags the outside influence is passion allow your heart and soul to sing with joy again raise your vibration I'm telling you to raise your vibrations so that something good can come in. But I also feel like there's a codependent ex-partner coming in. Yeah, because in the surrounding factors energy, which which is the hope and the fear, is unrequited love. So you could be scared that some of my Cancerians are the codependent. Um, you know, you could be feeling that this person doesn't love you anymore. The unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. Or it's a past partner and there's you you don't love this past partner but they could be like addicted to you but you want to move forward your outcome is playfulness to recapture romance allow your inner, inner youthful spirit of fun shine i feel like someone some kind of relationship has dimmed your light cancer and it's because of codependency or you've been dragged into someone else's addictions maybe it's time to fix yourself rather than try and fix someone else from their addictions because you can't you can't do that 
you know, they've got to want to heal for themselves. Give me the storyline for cancer, please. So love yourself first for cancer. We've got the Knight of Cups. And I feel like that is you bringing in love to yourself, offering it to yourself. It is the water sign passes, Cancer Scorpio. But I feel like you need to bring that love into yourself. Yeah, see, Page of Cups in reverse. So I feel like there's a connection that you've to stop feeding and give yourself that energy that you were giving to that person. Why is the codependency card here? As a challenge or a blockage. The Hermit. So... Could have happened in isolation. Uh, the Hermit is about going inwards. It's Virgo energy. It's about doing the inner work. Kind of um, retreating from a codependent. So I feel like you're retreating from someone who was quite needy. Or you could be feeling needy at the minute. You could be the, you could be the codependent one who is now trying to be independent. You know, it's uh, it can go work both ways. Take it as it resonates, leave what doesn't. So express your love. See the world, you've got to see your own worth, you've got to put yourself on a pedestal, uh, you know, that's what you deserve, you deserve to be put on a pedestal, but you've got to do that first, you know, in order to resonate that love beyond that vibration, so endings, new beginnings, new cycles, so very soon, the eight of pentacles, so you have been working on this, you've been doing a lot of self work, because it, you know, you could be manifesting the eight of pentacles, working your way up clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now the eight of pentacles so you're doing the self-work the queen of wands you could be dealing with fire sign sagittarius leo aries or it's about you getting your mojo back for yourself you might be finding that inner fire within yourself in order to move forward we have got the nine of pentacles in reverse so the nine of pentacles usually is the single independent person uh the nine of pentacles in the past it looks like you've you've had an hard time it looks like you've had an all time breaking away from a certain relationship. So at present, we've got soulmate energy. We've got the lovers, so you could be dealing with a Gemini. Or these choices, because the lovers card was originally meant to be love, uh, choices in love. It is the sign of Gemini. Um, I feel like there's, some, there's someone from the past. It's almost like you've got a bungee cord wrapped around you. You're trying to move forward. I feel like this person you're going to end up having harsh words with. Like, you know, it, it said no. Listen to what I'm saying. Um, if it's not that, then that could be what's going on with your energy at the minute. See, it's, it's this codependent, this, like, negative energy. We've got the Seven of Wands. Feeling that you have to justify your own decisions. We've got the Magician in Reverse, Aries energy. But that's manipulation. That's just feeling like you have to justify yourself for putting yourself first i feel like this the codependent is an outside energy and you are the one that maybe if you've left this person you feel you're having you're feeling like you have to justify the decision you don't need to justify the decision because it's your life so, so or someone could be playing on your art strings especially if they do have addictions and things like that or they could be really good at playing on your art strings so near the future we've got heart to heart conversations and pay attention to the red flags don't get caught up by manipulation the star card sign of aquarius so blessings balance being brought in wishes being granted the ten of cups you've got to do what is right for you you've got to put your emotional fulfillment first why's the red flags here cancer six of wands in reverse because you know that that is not going anywhere so you could feel like you're deeply in love with someone, but in your heart, you know it's not going anywhere. Well, this person is deeply... Well, I won't say deeply in love. What I would say is they are bonded to you in some kind of codependent, toxic way, and they're feeding off your energy. You've got to turn that around. You've got to, you've got to make your victories your victories, because the signs are cautioning you. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. So this person is very unstable. It could be mental health, or they could just be unstable, you know, like with uh, vices, drink, al like alcohol... Uh, drugs that's our thing and we've got the empress so taurus energy there the empress could be about you manifesting new things moving on forward planting the new seeds or this person in the past could have put you in a third party situation and now they're coming back around because that didn't work out and it's hell to the nor because the seven of cups in reverse you are not an option and you won't put yourself as an option 
So I feel like this is it's definitely self-love. You're realising your worth. Yeah, the Ace of Wands. You're realising your worth. I feel like someone else is realising your worth and it's too late. Your power in the wedding card. Is the King of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy, but it's to stay grounded. So it's to stay grounded in that scenario. So if you have lived with this person, sorry. If you have lived with this person as a married couple, you've been engaged or, you know, or you were actually married to this person, your power is to stay grounded whilst you deal with their energies. We have got the Six of Cups in reverse and we've got the Death card. So I don't feel like you are going to give the person from the past um, any of your energies, to be honest. I feel like that's what you're struggling with at the minute, but I feel like you are going to cut them off because we've got the Death card, Scorpio energy. So we've got the passion as the outside influence. We've got the wheel of fortune. So the wheel of fortune spins in your favour once you realise what, what your worth is. It's like it's just sat there waiting. <laughs> waiting to spin for you. Then we've got page of pentacles delivering messages. And we've got the three of pentacles. Um, so working together as a team. Wanting someone who is on a more equal balance, equilibrium. Um, someone who's equal give and take. Could definitely have been a third party in the past yeah the three of swords i feel like someone there's definitely been third party situations or manipulation someone's manipulated your energy the unrequited love could have been really hard this yeah the four of cups i feel like you could be trauma bonded to this person because it it still feels like you've missed them but you know they're not healthy for you the Knight of Pentacles, slow and steady wins the race. Healing can be a slow process, trust the process. Your outcome is playfulness, Ten of Wands in reverse. So you're dropping the burden, but we've got the Five of Wands. Someone, is, someone wants a reaction, someone's coming back for a reaction. The Two of Swords, you don't need to defend yourself though. And again, you've got the Seven of Wands there when I'm feeling like defensive energy. Don't feel like you have to justify your decisions when you're looking after yourself. You're dealing with toxic energy. We've got Capricorn there as well. There's something feeling really toxic from the past going on here. The Four of Swords. You need to sort your thoughts out. Um, get your thoughts in order. Because you are not bound to this person. You do not owe this person anything. The Ten of Pentacles. You do owe yourself that. Security. Balance. Looking after yourself. Feeling safe. Feeling secure within connections. The Ace of Swords. So you may go for legal, you know, um, advice. But the Ace of Swords, is, it's a yes. It's cutting out people that no longer serve you. Cutting out situations that no longer serve you. Using the truth of the sword to cut cords. So you're coming away from this person who is draining your energy. That's the sneaky lying thief. Cheating, lying. You're coming away from that. The Seven of Swords, you're not... Yeah, because that person has made you juggle your emotions, like question your mentality, question yourself, question your own self-worth. You're coming away from that. Um, again, I, I just want to reiterate, re oh, I can't even talk, reiterate, you do not need to justify your own decisions when it comes to self-love and when it comes to putting yourself, yourself first. So I'll take that as um, a definite sign because you are right to get your mojo back. You are not an option. Don't lie someone to treat it as an option. So I'll leave it there.